Now here I've got a basic equilateral triangle, meaning all three sides are the same size. I've put the marks there to say all three sides are the same. Two things I want to find out, lines of symmetry, mirror lines, and rotational symmetry. Right, I'm going to do, do that one first, lines of symmetry. So here's my first line of symmetry, going right down the middle, what is known as a mirror line. So basically this side, all of that is the same as the other side. Everything on this side of the mirror line matches everything on the other side of the mirror line. All right, that's a line of symmetry. That's one. All right, just ignore that now. Just look at this now. Just look at this triangle here. All right, there's another line of symmetry, meaning this side over here matches that side. Okay, that line goes right down the middle of this triangle. And there's another one. You see another one? Right down the middle. So I'm going to split this triangle in half. So you can see that line there goes right down the middle of this triangle. So everything on the left hand side of this mirror line matches everything on the right hand side of this mirror line. We have three lines of symmetry. Now, what about rotational symmetry? Rotation, well you know what rotation is, means turning around. So what I'll do, I'll need to, that's the, I mean that's the center. Assuming that's the center where all three lines where all three uh, mirror lines, symmetry lines meet, I would assume that's the middle. Right, remember that way, that's up. Okay, that arrow is pointing up. What I'm going to do now, put the pencil right there at the center. I'm going to rotate. Doesn't matter which way you rotate, anti-clockwise, clockwise, doesn't matter at the moment. I'm just going to rotate this paper all the way around, 360 degrees. So I'm going to rotate it so that the arrow comes back pointing up again. So here we go. Right. I'll stop now. I've stopped because that triangle that I've traced matches the triangle behind. You see, it's matched. Right, so that's one so far. It's matched one so far. Right. Oops, right, that's twice now. It's matched twice. And back to the beginning. Right, back, back to the start. There you go. I now come back to the start because the arrow's pointing up again. And it's matched three times. So it's got a rotational symmetry. Three. I right, can try a different type of triangle. Let's try this. What I'm doing here is an isosceles triangle, meaning this side is the same as that side. Right, let's just assume that's the center, roughly. Right now, Remember well, that's up, so we need to get that arrow back up again once we've rotated it. Let's see how many times it matches. Oh. And back to where I started. So it's not matched a single time. It's got no, what we say, uh, that shape here, 
has got zero rotational symmetry. No rotational symmetry. You can try other triangles. Let's try, let's go for equilateral. Now we've done equilateral. Let's go for a scaling triangle where all three sides are different. Now hopefully you can see that this shape when I rotate it, it's going to only come back to its original shape. It will have no rotational symmetry. Let's just assume, put the dot there. And back to where I started. It's got zero rotational symmetry. If I just go back to this one, um, there is a line of symmetry for this one. Obviously, it goes right down the middle. Basically, everything on the left-hand side of the line of symmetry matches everything on the right-hand side of the line of symmetry. But you might think there's a line of symmetry this way. Well, there isn't. And you might want to say, well, here it is. I'll do it in a different color so you know what I'm doing is wrong. You might think it's that, but hold on. Is that side the same as all of that over here? No, that's not a line of symmetry. This has only got one line of symmetry. Isosceles triangle has got one line of symmetry. Right, um, this one, Hopefully you'll be able to see that there's no line of symmetry for this one.